Welcome, welcome, artists everywhere. You shining stars, we are in the final Friday. Wow. Today is the 23rd of February. And today we are going to be doing shapes, heads and hands, mannequin, anatomy, sculpture, gesture, and figure drawing. We have much to do, so let's carry on. So of course we start every session with our stretching session. And here we have our 2D shapes. So let's make a new layer. Let's hit the B for the brush tool and let's get to work. Yeah, that's terrible. But we always get the chance to improve every stroke is a lesson just as every failure is a lesson there are no losses only lessons <laughs> uh, okay let's keep moving keep moving i can't believe this it's Friday already. Where does the time go? I really can't say. Into the black hole known as the past. But thank you for hanging out and running with me. As we run towards the future of a better artist self. That was shapes. Let's go to 3D shapes and another new layer. Let's go boxes, boxes, or cubes if you if so inclined. But yeah, February was a whirlwind. And now I just kind of wondering how I did. How did I do all this? And when it started, it was just an idea that I knew I had to do to get back into shape. I thought, hey, let's record a new workout regimen. And I hesitated at first, but in the end I thought, yeah, that would be a, I had to do it like most things in my life. I don't want to, but something in me said, you have to do this. Here we are, drawing badly done cones. But it doesn't matter, we're still here. Sorry, badly drawn cylinders, what I'm talking about, this is a cone. Cones, cones. They look like Doritos, but yeah. Pyramid and swoosh, swooshy swoosh. Okay, and that is shapes. Now, head and hands. Head and hands time. But first, we have the skull. This is Horatio looking up. The skull looking up. So let's, let's explore this. He is foreshortened. All right, things are skewed now. We can't see the top of his head. Here's his eye line. 
nasal cavity, and teeth. But everything's moving this up. Here's the mandible and the back of the cranium. So let's draw this, of course. 40%, a new layer. And let's go. B for the brush tool. Here is all of your cranium. The house of your brain. We have what would be considered your forehead. This is your eye line. Brow ridge, your nose, the bottom of your nose would be somewhere around here, your teeth, your mandible, mandible, but everything is altered, but still certain things Certain things like your ears would always be behind your, your mandible. But that is the skull looking up. Here is the head, my head, looking up and to my left side, but screen right. So let's do it. B, the cranium. Coming to my forehead, brow ridge comes in, out for the cheekbone, and down to the chin, or my mandible, a mandible right here. I'm looking, right, this is the orientation of my head, the side plane, as you can see the highlight, highlight. So we follow that down to the chin, the eye line, going back in space, the bottom of my nose, also going around my head and back into space. The brow ridge, the mouth line, my hairline also somewhat follows the contours. The ear is at the eye line, between the eye line and the nose line, which is here. Right. And that is my head looking up and to screen right my left. But let's do another one. This is looking up to my right, screen left. Once more, new layer, cranium, forehead, the brow ridge comes in and then back out for the around the cheek, comes down to my chin, and that is my mandible attached to my skull proper with very strong muscles that I use daily to eat. We have the side plane. Let's do the side plane. It's out and around my orbital bone, eye, around my cheek, coming down towards the chin. And we have, this is the orientation, I'm looking three quarters, my eyes, my brow ridge, bottom of the nose, the mouth, between the bottom of the nose and the eye, going back into space and around my head, back into space, around my head. And my ear rests between my nose, 
nose, bottom of my nose line, and my eye line. Approximately. And I have a neck, hairline, following this. And that is my head looking three quarters to screen left, my right. Let's move on to hands. Now here is hand in the, you can see most of my palm, well, all of my palm. My fingers spread. Let's fade that back, 40%. New layer. Of course, we have to make the box or modify shape. If you see the box, be the box. Be the box. See the box, be the box. Right. More or less. More or less, more or less. See kind of the top. Right, it's kind of going backwards into the bottom is going back. Let's erase these construction lines. Not all of them, just, you know, using it for demonstration. Back to the brush tool. And let's draw it properly. My thumb. Hand. Bits of my ankle. Oops, ankle. My wrist. What am I talking about? Right, this is the broad. I can see the palm side. And do my digits radiate off the palm or off the top? This reminds me of when you're young and you make the turkey for Thanksgiving with your hand on a piece of paper. That's just what this reminds me of now. Gobble, gobble. But we have the forearm going to my arm. Our arm coming down into my forearm. And that is the hand. Where the pins are. That is the hand. And now let's move on to anatomy, mannequin, and statuary. All right, now we have the anatomy and the mannequin. So we have mannequin. Let us fade her back. V60, yeah, V60, or V6 for 60% opacity new layer on top and we're going to do the simple shapes so we have the hair what am i talking about the head basic circle basic circle All right and we can extend that out downwards for the chin she's looking at us She's looking at us. And we have the eye line, which is about in the middle, right? And then we have the nose line, about where the circle, and is between the eye line and the chin. And then the mouth is between the, chin, the nose, bottom of the nose and the chin. The ears are between the nose and chin. Yes, yes. 
and her hairline is somewhere up here. She has a neck, of course. For the lady, we shall do, how about we do a, a light? She's got some contraposto for the shoulders and hip tilt. We can see some side, slight side plane. This is her body. The sternum is a great indicator for the position of her upper body. But we could also say do a, the egg shape within it. Or a modified egg, whatever. Whatever suits you best. So we got the hilt. Hips, hips, hips. She has a spine. And we do the circles for joints, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, ankles. And we connect those with cylinders. Cylinders, cylinders, cylinder. Although it looks more like just two straight lines coming to but we'll call them cylinders. Cylinders, <laughs> straight line cylinders, straight line cylinders. Okay, she has feet. Cause we all need something to stand on. And that is the mannequin. Done, oh, hands, of course, of course, of course. So, mannequin, John, mannequin, right on. So now let's go over the anatomy, oh, anatomy, of course, the trapezius neck and upper shoulder comes into it about of a, a diamond shape. The deltoid is the shoulder connected by the clavicle comes into the humerus. We have the pectoralis along the clavicle and the sternum wrapping up in across the ribs up and inserting into the humerus bone. We have the, from back to front, tricep, which is on the back of the upper arm, brachialis on the side of the upper arm, and the bicep on the front of the upper arm. So front to back is bicep, brachialis, and tricep. The brachioradialis is from the lower Humerus comes out and goes towards the inside of your forearm. We have the external obliques, which are around the low handle section. And the latissimus dorsi is up and covers a lot of the back as well. We have the rectus abdominis, upper and lower. And there's the belly button, the upper, lower. We have extensors and flexors of the forearm, which helps to move your hand and fingers. Right, you can flex them and you can extend them. Flex. Of the thigh muscles, we have the gracilis, which is, comes from the inner pubic bone and wraps inside of the thigh. We have the adductor longus, which moves towards 
from the pelvic bone towards the middle of your thigh. The sartorius starts from the hip, outside of the hip, coming inside of your thigh, middle thigh to the lower, at about around the upper, upper knee. So I say, we have the rectus femoris, which is a large muscle in the middle of your thigh. We have the vastus lateralis, which is on the outside of your thigh. We have the patella bone, which is your kneecap. And from that kneecap towards your ankle is the patellar tendon. Patellar tendon. The gastronemius is the calf muscle. Calf seen from the inside. There's some on the back, but we cannot see it. It's mostly seen the inside of your lower leg. Now, next to the patellar tendon is the anterior tibialis. Anterior tibialis. We have the extensor digitorum, just, just slightly below the anterior tibialis, and the fibularis longus on the outside of the calf. And the extensor digitorum longus is between the two just a little lower, going towards the ankle. And of course, the fibularis longus, also known as the peroneus, is on the outside of your lower leg. Those are simplified, very simplified, some of the muscles of the anatomy. Now let's map that to this mannequin. So, trapezius. Trapezius, upper shoulder, making that diamond shape. That can't be seen because this is the front side. We have the deltoid. The deltoid, the shoulder, shoulder. We have the pectoralis, which along the clavicle the sternum, and it comes around towards the humor, upper humerus, okay, clavicle, sternum, across the ribcage, up and into the humerus. We have on the arms, from front to back, the bicep. We have the brachialis and the tricep on the back. Now back to front, we have the tricep, the brachialis, and the bicep. Coming from the outside of the humerus bone, of the, well, between the upper arm and your forearm, you have the brachial radius coming into, coming down and into the forearm, the inside of the forearm. We have extensors and flexors to control your fingers and hand. We have the external obliques, external Obliques, latissimus dorsi, latissimus dorsi, the rectus femoris. Well, that's the, that's that. Rectus, I'm sorry, rectus abdominis. Getting ahead of myself. Belly button, upper, and lower. We have the gracilis of the thigh. Gracilis of your inner thigh. And then we have the adductor longus coming towards the middle of your thigh. From 
the gracilis from the, the hip bone, the iliac crest. Uh, we have the sartorius on the outside coming inside of the thigh, across the thigh, and towards the knee. So from the outside to the inside. Again, from the outside to the inside of the thigh. We have the, now we have the rectus femoris in the middle of your thigh. And on the outside is the vastus lateralis. The vastus lateralis. We have the patella, which is your kneecap. And the kneecap has a patellar tendon coming from the patella towards the ankle. Towards the ankle. On the inside, we have the gastronemius, the calf muscle, gastronemius. On the very outside, we have the fibularis longus, also known as the peroneus. All right, next to, on the outside of the leg, is the patellar tendon, and next to that, is the anterior tibialis, the anterior tibialis. Between the anterior tibialis and the fibularis longus, just a slightly lower is the extensor digitorum longus. So anterior tibialis, fibularis longus, extensor digitorum longus. And those are the muscles. Thank you, model. Thank you. And now let's do some statuary. This time we have Theseus. Right? I think this is Theseus. I don't think it's Perseus. I think it's Theseus. <laughs> if I'm wrong, <laughs> you'll see it when I edit this. But Theseus, and he has just slayed Medusa. Right, he's got winged shoes. Why they're always naked, I don't know. We'll just call it a style. But yeah, Medusa, her head, unfortunately, which is then going to be used to turn the Titan to stone. From Clash of the Titans, this was a a movie that was pretty cool back in the day. Theseus. So, let's get to drawing him. Let's see. That's uh, V, uh, let's say 40. Yes. Uh, maybe 50. 50. Okay, new layer. First, we're going to do shapes, like we do. D for the brush tool. We have the overall circle for the head. All right, just to get a placement down. We extend from that circle to make an oval. Now between these, the center, you have the eye line, which usually dice you know, bisects the top and bottom. It's in the middle. Eyebrow ridge. We have the nose between the eye line and the chin. And between the, the nose, bottom of the nose and the chin, we have the mouth. Approximately. Between the nose and the eye line, this is ears. We can't quite see the other side, but there's a side plane that goes around the eye and the chin, it goes down, well, and the cheek goes down to the chin. 
He has a neck. He's the back of the head. Let's give him a... Hmm, let's do both. The box for him first. Now, he doesn't have so much of a shoulder tilt, but I think the drama is going towards... Right? Yep, yep, yep. The action. This is his dominant leg. One leg is relaxed. He has this slight hip tilt because he's standing on his dominant leg. Right back to the box for his rib cage. We have a line for the, the sternum. This is his body position. This is a side plane. You can see it. You can kind of see the light mm -hmm. highlighting this side plane. So if it was an egg shape, it was like this. Modified egg. Because the rib cage is more like this. Soft, fleshy bits, hard shell, just like an egg. We have, well, let's do the hips, 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 hips. Again, that side plane. Yeah. Make it simple for yourself. Make it simple. Now, circles for his joints. So we've got the shoulders, the elbow, the wrist, probably somewhere around here, the knees, and the ankles. And we make cylinders to connect, which just look like curved lines, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So his thighs. And the lower leg. Oh, wow. And feet. So I can't really quite be seen, but something like that. His hand. And his other hand, well, can't quite be seen. I think these are the snakes of her hair. But this might be some of his fingers. Inconclusive. He has a spine. Just like that. And this is Theseus. Nicely done. Now, for the muscles. On top, let's do, let's, no, let's do a purple. Maybe a mauve. Mauve. Okay, so, once again, trapezius. Trapezius. It's a diamond shape. We have the deltoid. The Deltor. The Deltor. We have the We have the pectoralis, which is bordered by the clavicle, the sternum coming up around from down and around across the rib cage starting to the upper humerus again clavicle sternum but across the rib cage and inserting into the humerus so from uh, let's do front to back on the upper arm we have the bicep 
brachialis just behind that and the tricep on the back again but from what down up or back to front have the tricep the bicep the brachialis is on the outer side. This is the undersize. We have the brachioradialis. You can see it come out a bit, comes out, comes in, and across. Out in. We have the external obliques, its only external obliques, latissimus dorsi. We have the rectus abdominis, oh, this. this is belly button, the upper and the lower. On the thigh, we have the gracilis. Right, we can see it. Gracilis. We have the adductor longus coming towards the middle of the thigh. You can see it defined here the, the rectus femoris. You see that? Yeah. And the middle of his thigh. We have the sartorius coming from the hip outside, outside hip, down and towards the inside, down and towards the inside of the thigh, towards the inner knee, down, inside the thigh, towards the inner knee, down, inside the thigh, towards the inner knee. We have the vastus lateralis, which is on the outside of your thigh. Oh my thighs. That is vastus lateralis. We have the kneecap. Kneecap, kneecap. And from the kneecap is the patellar tendon. Swooshy, swoosh, going towards the ankle towards the ankle. Now from the inside of the lower leg is the calf, also called the gastronemius. The gastronemius. On the outside, we have the fibularis longus, also called the peroneus. We have next to the patellar tendon, towards the outer side of the lower leg, anterior tibialis, anterior tibialis. And between the anterior tibialis and the fibularis longus, at the lower end is the extensor ad digitorum longus. And those, I believe, are the muscles of our dear Theseus. I'm going to be upset if this is Perse Perseus, but I'm pretty sure. All right. Now let's move on to figure drawing. All right, now it's time for figure drawing. This is one of the ones we did yesterday. But we need something fresh, something new, something called the internet. And on the internet, we have, of course, line of action. And from line of action, we are going to fill this out so we can get started. Only covered models, all genders, because we want to keep it PG-13, you know, keep it clean for the kids. But we do draw adults 
all the same length. Let's do two minutes, but we're gonna pause it and we're gonna do three and let's get to drawing. Whoa. Okay, that's good. So here we have strong lady that we've done last time here. I think this is a classic muscle builder pose. And we're gonna draw it. We are going to draw it. Now we're gonna keep it light, keep it loose. And I'll be working all over the place how I normally work. Now we got head, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. From there we go. What are our, right? Big forms, think of big forms. Big forms, and I see a slight, it feels like this. Right? It feels like this. All right, you feel that? So let's do the egg shape, egg shape. We've got the box hips. You can see more of this side than this side, right? More of this than this side. And circles for joints. So we got the deltoid, deltoid. We've got the elbows, elbows. We have knees, knees. And then we connect those. Connect those. She has wrists, but we can't quite see them. Well, we can this one. And we have cylinders for, let's do the forward. The forward leg first. And some thick cylinders. We've got do do. And doop, that's me, swoop. Something like this. All right. Is it beautifully done? No. But Command T for transform, shift it up with the arrow buttons. That's what I'm doing. And return to end the transform and command D to deselect. Alrighty. Now that we have this, we can draw on top of this if we so choose. V, 50%, 30%. Let's do 40. All right, not too hot, not too cold. A new layer. Mm, let's take a green. And we're just gonna do some light B for the brush tool. We're just gonna fill it up. This is the way I see fit. And she's got the overall circle. The middle is her eye line. Between this and the chin, nose line. Nose line between that nose line and the chin. She looks like she's concentrating on all of her muscles. But I guess that's how you get to be ripped. But I don't. I was never ripped in my life. I only teased when I was, what, 25? But that's about it. 
so we have right, just moving, just grooving. We got the bicep. Look at this. You can see the traps, right? Trapezius, right? Right there. They like little triangles. Little triangles. We have the deltoid. She's more like that. I'm not usually too finicky about my gesture drawings because it adds up over time, but you don't really see yourself improving. So. For me, it feels like background. We have the tricep on the back. Right, you can see part of that deltoid. Part of the deltoid. Latissimus. Latissimus. Latissimus Dorsey. And she really got rid of those external obliques, man. The rectus abdominis right here. Complete that egg shape. Rectus abdominis. The belly button, the lower. The iliac crest of the hip. And it goes into her. Look at that. I'm thinking the rectus femoris. Right? Pow, pow. And is this the vastus lateralis? Maybe. Maybe. What happens when you work on them? Gracilis, gracilis. From the hip, this might be it. Right, coming down across. This might be the sartorius. This might be the sartorius on this side. Just, right. Wrapping across from the hip, outside, towards the inside. Outside, towards the inside. The sartorius, rectus femoris. Rectus. The kneecap, the kneecap comes out. Then patellar tendon, patellar, patellar tendon, the calf or the gastronemius. Calf, gastronemius. Second, second guess myself when I had it right. The vastus ladder, I think that might be. Or maybe the rectus, if there's a medialis, is there also a, hmm, but man, she is, that's hard work right there. And that, I think, is that. 
moving on. Hey! <laughs> Our old friend. Our old friend. I think this is him. I could be wrong. But I think this is him. And I told you something good's gonna happen to him. If we saw him again. <laughs> so, we have... What is it? Woodcutter guy, boxer guy, mountain climber. So he's a boxing <laughs> woodcutter mountain climber, which I guess is just a lumberjack, maybe. And uh, so <laughs> we're just we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna play. So his head. Neck, shoulders, well, traps, shoulder. He comes sort of like, right, there's a, a this and a this. Yeah, but this is straighter. And his arms are crossed inwards. Okay, we've got the basics, the gesture. And blow him up. Return, command D to deselect. Back to the brush tool. He's got Hair, head, we can see the side plane. Going back, going around the eye, and feels like that. His eyes are here, nose here, mouth here. He's got you can see the forehead. His ears are between the eye and the nose. Right back here. Mandible. He's got a neck, of course. And now, let's see. The traps. The trapezius, the deltoid, the deltoid, the deltoid. He's got the clavicle to his pecs, wrapping, clavicle. Sternal, what was I saying? Yeah, sternal. Wrapping around the rib cage and into the humerus. We have tri um, tricep. Yes. That. Tricep. It kind of bulges. Right? Kind of bulges. And sometimes it flows right into like the deltoid. All right, see that? It just flows. Just. So we got tricep. The break the brachialis. I had to look. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, Trey, you know this. The brachialis and the bicep. Bicep, brachialis, right? See that? Bicep, brachialis, bicep, brachialis. 
bicep, brachialis, tricep. Mm -hmm. This is where the elbow would be. And we continue onwards. We have the brachioradialis, the brachioradialis. Really radialis, extensors and flexors, all the sores coming into the wrist, the hand, we can't quite see his rectus abdominis, but we do see the belly button. Slightly bent the belly button. The external obliques. We see his right side, hips. And we do see that side plane. We can't see this side, but we see this as a side. So on his thigh, we have the vastus lateralis outside. We have the gracilis, oh, we can't quite see it, would we'll be here. The gracilis on the inside. Gracilis. We have the adductor longus, which would be moving towards the middle of the thigh, towards the middle. The sartorius coming from the hip, outer hip, down and inside. So we down and inside of the thigh, and down and inside of the thigh, the rectus femoris, rectus femoris, right. vastus kneecap, kneecap, patellar tendon, Kind of curves. There we go. We have the calf muscle, also known as the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius. Also seen on this side. We have the fibularis oblongus, also known as the peroneus. Can't quite see on this one. Peroneus. Anterior tibialis, which is next to the patellar tendon. Also, it can't be seen from this side. Do do. Let's see the anterior. Oh, we did just did that. The <laughs> extensor digitorum longus is at the lower side between the fibularis longus on the outer side and the anterior to the alis on the inner side. Heel, the arch, right? that's what I call the arch, and the 
footpad slash toes. Slash toes. And that is our <laughs> boxing bladesman mountain guy also known as Lumberjack. Right on. Now we shall move on to the next. Wow, okay. We found something. We found something. Something we haven't quite done before. And this shall be our last. So, new layer. What do we got here? A man laying down. That's very relaxed. Very relaxed. So let's map it out. The head would be here. Arm. There's a this. 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 And this. Alright, that's. That's what I feel. Yeah, that arm right, coming out and down. But let's make this better. We got the rib cage. Lying down, so his hips, side plane, another plane, and so this is all one plane. This is the side plane. So we got the box. The box is here. The box is here. What did I say about the head, the head circle? Usually off, usually off. But that's a me thing though, right? At this point, that's a me thing. You're probably looking at your drawing like, Shh, I got mine on the first try. Don't get cocky. <laughs> uh, nobody likes cockiness. Uh, now let's see, we can do certain rules for the, you notice how many rules I break or how many things I don't do for what, <laughs> what we've been doing is because we, I have more or less internalized most of this. Am I good at it? Mm. With training, but mostly no. <laughs> but I'm here today, right? We won't talk about my mistakes in the past. We'll talk about today. We have, of course, the heel, the arch, foot pad. All right, we got this. We got this. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the muscles in a moment. Just trying to to get some of this a little bit more down. Okay. 
So here we have the figure. Get it right, Trey. Get it right. There we go. Let's take him down to the fifty percent. On the new layer, we'll do a yes and start mapping some muscles, shall we? So we have the trapezius. It's about here. And the deltoid, of course. We have the tricep on my back. We have the brachialis. We have the bicep. We have the, there we go, the brachioradialis. We can see that. Swooshing its way across the upper forearm. We have extender, extensors, and flexors. We have a hand. We have the pectoralis. We have the clavicle, sternum, having a cross. The rib cage up, right, up, and in, up, and in. Sternum, pectoralis. This is stretched because his reach, his other arm's up. So it's a little flatter. What else we got? Can see sort of the rib cage, but also the rectus abdominis. Let's follow this, this seam, right? That goes to the belly button, makes a little seam, rectus abdominis. Upper and lower. The external obliques. It's where all my donuts go. Where all of my donuts go. We have the hands, gluteus, right, hamstring. The hamis, the gracilis, we can't quite see on this side, but on this side, gracilis, adductor longus, with going towards the middle, the rectus femoris. Oh, we forgot the sartorius. Come on. From the outside hip, swooshy swoosh into the inside of your thigh. Yes, rectus femoris, rectus femoris. We have the sartorius across. Marcellus, a bit of it. A vastus lateralis. Be on the side. Mm -mm. Gastronemius, also called the calf muscle. Oh, do do. 
the patella, the patellar tendon. Heel. Arch. And toesies. Arch. Oh, heel. Arch. And this, right? Foot pad. Foot pad with toesies. Right, right, right. Is there anything we're forgetting? Shh, the lower, the lower leg. Come on, come on, Trey. <laughs> so, the fibularis longus on this side, on the outside of the anterior tibialis. Right. This is the patellar tendon, anterior tibialis, extensor digitorum, and the fibularis oblongus. And that, I would say, is that. Let's, let's get, get his head a little bit more defined. We can do better than this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Circle. Kind of sort of. <laughs> if this is a kind of sort of circle, sure. We got the eye line. The nose line, the mouth line. Where is that side plane? Coming around the eye, cheek, and towards the tip. You can see the cheekbone on this side, this side. Eyebrow ridge slightly. His ear between his eye line and the nose. His mandible. His hairline. Nicely done. Nicely done, everyone. <sighs> All right. And that is that. So let's look at the schedule. Well, friends, here we are. We did it. We done did it on this 23rd. Of February Friday yeah at the advanced level we just did shapes heads and hands mannequin anatomy sculpture gesture and ended with figure drawing that's that's it you learned everything I know <laughs> but, but anyways this is pretty much the, the thing that I plan to keep doing I'm not going to do much of this on screen anymore, but it's just going to be me working out with this month after month, month after month. I hope you also take what you've learned and continue on. 
We only fail if we quit. And we will never quit. So, tomorrow is the 24th Saturday of February, and it is freestyle. And the topic or theme for me is fantasy. I will also be doing that on Sunday, fantasy. And then I'm heading into the shortened week with more freestyle. And of course, you can draw what you like. Hopefully you will draw with me with your program or your pencil and paper and we'll just hang out like it's a classroom. And I'll say silly stuff and draw, I don't know what right now, but it's just the act of drawing. And in that next week, we'll go over the final final of here and here. But just remember, just keep going. Make a chain and don't break the chain. And if you do break the chain, pick it up again and just keep going. Just keep going. So I have been Trey, your workout partner, and hopefully I'll see you later. Bye-bye.